New details tonight about the Connecticut man found with stolen remains from Worcester's Hope Cemetery. He faced charges in Worcester on Tuesday and prosecutors outlined what he told them about the theft. Amador Medina appears in Worcester District Court Tuesday. The 32 year old Connecticut man is charged with five counts of breaking into and taking bodies from this mausoleum in Hope Cemetery. Six royal crypts have been broken into. Five of those crypts had uh, skeletons removed from caskets. Investigators say Medina told them he is a Santeria priest and wanted the bones for religious reasons. Prosecutors say Medina did show police the remains of three adults and two children in his home. Uh, the defendant had stated that he had uh, purchased these remains from another individual, that he was aware that they did come from the mausoleum and did not have permission to have those remains. Police say the break-in was reported in October. The cemetery tells us they believe the family has no living relatives. City manager Edward Augustus says the mausoleum becomes the city's responsibility if there is no one left in the family to take care of it. We've taken measures to try to make sure that this never happens again in terms of putting additional cameras in at Hope Cemetery and um, kind of replaced all of the locks on all the mausoleums. Medina was held on $100,000 cash bail and is due back in court on January 5th. Medina's defense attorney argued for lower bail. He says Medina was supposed to start a new job at Walmart in Connecticut this week.